Hi, and welcome to Studio SN. My name is Sarah Newman, and today we're going to play with a brayered double embossing technique featuring WOW embossing powders. The background of my card has a kind of a brayered double embossing effect on here. You can see that I've got two different colors of embossing powder on the same piece of cardstock. Such an easy technique to do and one that is a really fun one as well. So let me show you how I've done this. First, I mentioned I'm working with WOW embossing powders, so I'm using the Metaline Red Regular and then also the Opaque Pastel Blue Regular. So the two of these are going to combine on here. And I'm also using a glossy white cardstock, and I really like using glossy cardstock for any kind of embossing technique. It just really makes those colors stand out more, I think, than a matte cardstock. So what I'm going to do, take my um, glossy card and I'm going to put it onto a piece of scrap paper and then working with my embossing ink pad, and you could use either a Versamark or you could use a Watermark Resist, whatever you happen to have on hand. I'm just gonna take the lid off and press this directly onto my glossy card and cover it completely. So I'm pressing pretty firmly, trying not to get my fingers in here and kind of holding it on the edges if I can. And then what I'll do is open this up so I have kind of a funnel effect here and I'm going to sprinkle it with the metaline red and I love this color because it's kind of a, a pinky red it's not really a brick red it's just such a pretty color so I'm going to sprinkle this all over I'm going to be really generous and then I'm going to kind of slide off the excess and I always like to do like a, a double go through here if you get edges here like this that are not completely inked and covered, don't worry about it. So when I've got that completely done, this is what it's gonna look like. And then what I can do is just use this as a funnel to get the rest of my embossing powder back into my jar, like so. Okay, so nothing goes to waste. So then what I can do is bring this back in and I'm going to go ahead and heat set this with a heat embossing gun. One thing that you'll want to keep in mind is that it takes a while to get all of the embossing powder melted. So here you can see this one has already been um, melted, heat embossed. So you can see the difference between the two. This is shiny and um, flat. And so basically what you'll do is just heat emboss that for a while, then let it cool before you handle it because it, it can be really pretty hot. So let it cool down, and then you're gonna move on to the second phase of this. So again, I'm gonna bring in a piece of scrap paper and bring back in my embossing ink and a brayer, a little mini brayer. And I'm just gonna ink up my brayer. And using a light touch, I'm just gonna do a few dabs on here with the brayer. So I'm not coating it completely. Then what I'll do is bring this back into the inside and now I'm working with the opaque pastel blue. So this time I'm just gonna sprinkle this on here. I'm not gonna be as generous as before because I don't need to coat the whole thing. And then I'll get a very cool kind of variegated effect here. Get some at the bottom. If you have some harsh lines on here from that brayer, what you can also do is just kind of scoot it off or blur the edges with your finger, kind of tap that on there, and you can get a different effect. So then, once again, you will also heat set this. And then, once you do, you're gonna have a piece that looks something like this. So you can see I've got the red, I've got the blue, it's shiny, it's melted, and it looks really cool. So you can use this as your background, as I did. Of course, you could also die cut it or do some other cutting techniques with it as well if you wanted. Um, I just simply put mine down as the background of my card and put a um, stacked blue flower on here. I've got a little brad going in the center and that's just up here on foam tape because I thought the background was so cool I didn't want to really hide it if I could. So I've got some baker's twine here. I've got a little price mini price tag here with a little heart that I just sketched on there with a black pen. The Love You down here, this is also from Wow Embossing and this is their Express Yourself um, stamp set. So you have all of these words individually and this is just stamped on there with a black permanent ink pad. So this is how you can get a brayered double embossing effect with your embossing powders. I hope you enjoyed today's show.
For more ideas and inspiration, please do stop by my website at sarahnewman.com. Thank you so much for joining me at Studio SN, and I will see you again next time.